For us, our standout feature is simple. It's based on relationships. This is a quote from Mark Morehouse, our CEO. And we think that for our learners to be truly happy emotionally and socially, and also effective academically, embedded in that is the relationships. Relationships with each other, relationships with staff, and amongst colleagues. Now, this is based on this man here, Eric Byrne, on the theory of transactional analysis. And that theory underpins everything at Matthew Moss High School, in that as a person, because we exist, we have three ego states, parent, adult, and child. Parent is when you were at some point in your life told externally what rules and regulations you needed to follow. As a child, then you internalised that and made sense of those rules and regulation. And for us, adult is where you, are, you appear at the top of the iceberg, where you reason and analyse and it's much more contrived and it's less based on emotion. For us, our fundamentals are that every single interaction in the school needs to be here, adult to adult. We need to, as, as staff, it's our responsibility to invite those young people into adult so that we can truly engage them in those conversations. And that's why our ethos is simple. Respect everyone, but also fear absolutely nobody. There's no hierarchy. And what you see then is the impact that that has because the young people in our care know that we are bothered. And not only do they know that we know them, we don't see them from the lens of a de deficit model. We are all emergent because we are human beings. So not only do we know our learners, we know that we are all emergent and we're all learning on this journey and they recognise that impact. Also, staff, we're not Glastonbury, we do have some regulations, but at the same time, it's a flat culture. And Ofsted even recognised that and said that staff said there is no apparent hierarchy because everything is in that adult to adult interaction. Now, in addition to that, this has also impacted on our progress eight. A couple of years ago, if I was to do this speech, we would be ninth or tenth in the local authority. Currently, our progress eight score has gone so high that we are now second in the, in the local area. A huge improvement. And we underpin that based on this transactional analysis. The success we feel this has had has not only affected staff morale and student morale, it's actually affected academic outcomes. And that's something that we are embedding and always going back to this adult-to-adult -adult interaction. It's in our curriculum, it's in everything that we do and everywhere that you go along the corridors today, you're going to see that. And that's something that's really important. So, what can we do if we, re if we invite our, our young people into adult? How can we push that adult even further? And we have something called D6, which stands for day six. D6 is, means that we open the school on a Saturday, but we don't treat it as a school. There is no uniform, there is no staff. Instead, what we do is we invite our young people to come in and do four hours of study independently. All right, if they are truly adults, empower them to learn, revise how you want to revise. If we truly want them to learn for life, give them the tools to be able to do that. And as a result, our stats show that when they leave us, our NEAT figures are statistically significantly less than the local area and also national. And we think that that's attributed to the fact that we empower them to be agents of their own learning through D6. In addition to that, also, it also impacts academic outcomes because learners who access D6 most Saturdays have an improvement in their academic outcomes. Today, though, we're talking about the white British boys, particularly. Our white British boys in current year 11 are underperforming. Now, there's lots of various external factors as to why this could be. Historically, one could argue in the research suggests that because of the Industrial Revolution, there is therefore um, a kind of protection of Saturday and that time. But these two young men here, Bailey and Lewis, walked for 50 minutes in torrential rain to attend D6 voluntarily. So we're not here to say that these white British boys don't have high aspirations because they do. But why isn't it translating then to high attainment? And that's what we want you to explore today. What is it? Is it the microculture? Is it that they're influenced by other peers? What is it? Why, how can we engage our white British young learners, particularly in year 11, to engage in D6 and extra intervention? Because we know the quality of our relationships is very much there. 
The second thing that we'd like to look at is that we are a growing school due to our successes in, pre in recent years. And if you look at this data, just this year alone, we've got 48 new starters. With the influx of new starters, they're complex. Some of them had really difficult experiences with education. So how do we gatekeep this beautiful ethos that we've worked so hard to create? How do we keep that going? Do the young people know and do they recognise that the relationships with staff here are different? And crucially, new staff that we appoint, do they recognise TA? Can they utilise it in their day-to-day -day interactions? And that's what we're really hopeful for you to find out and explore for us today. Thank you.